Hey guys, what's up? This is Jerocraft and welcome back once again to another Minecraft tutorial video. I thought I'd do something really simple today because I'm absolutely knackered. I've been working on Kingdoms of Greymane all week, non-stop, and I just can't wait to show you. And frankly, I was going to do the Medieval Fortress, but it's just way too big and I'm just not bothered right now. Seriously, I'm not. I'm just so tired. You know, I've actually went caving like real life Minecraft except without the exploding creepers it was awesome experience it was great but um, yeah so guys I hope you enjoyed today's video and I would appreciate it if you can take a moment to rate comment and subscribe right guys so this should be a really simple video I mean it's a very small building which you can use for your towns and cities and you can actually make a pretty decent campsite on the outskirts maybe but um, I hope you guys enjoy it we're gonna start with some stone bricks and we are gonna place a three block pillar followed by a three block gap another three block gap and a pillar then the same on the right hand side except we're gonna have an extra gap one two three like so then copy the front side one two three and one two three and then again one two three and one two three so you get a perfect rectangle made up of three block gaps and three block high pillars right now using some cobblestone we are going to place the entrance which is going to be here we're going to place some cobblestone wall on this corner and then place an extra three blocks one two and three so it should be four one two three four is it? I don't know. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Join that off. And then over here, we're going to have cobblestone along the inside of the building. And you're going to do that for the rest of the rectangle. So you're just going to make your way around the inside of this building until it meets up with the entrance, which is over here. So let's do that. There we go. Now using some cobblestone stairs, we're going to place one block on top of the cobblestone wall, followed by a full block of cobblestone in front, and then we are going to raise this all the way until it meets up in the middle, which should be about here, and then do the exact same thing on this side. So cobblestone stairs, a full block, and then join up with the center block in the middle and that should be okay for now if you grab some stone bricks we can actually bring this all the way across and extend it an extra block off the edge over here so all the way across and then we can place a block of cobblestone stairs here and then the full block of cobblestone just like we did on that side we're gonna join this up until it meets up in the middle and place a full block right here and you might as well just join this up like so there we go now for the roof I mean it's really simple we're just gonna add some extra detail using some jungle wood stairs because, you know, it would be extremely boring if the entire roof was made out of cobblestone. So we're just going to place the jungle wood stairs on top of the pillars, as you can see, and then just follow the pattern until it meets up with the main pillar. So let's just do that. Then you just have to do the exact same thing on the other side of the building, so let's do that. To finish off the roof, just add a block of cobblestone stairs and then 
spruce wood all the way across the center then stairs again and make sure the spruce wood slab just extends an extra block further away from the cobblestone stairs so once you finish the roof just go into the building and replace all of the grass blocks for oak wood then grab some stone bricks and finish the second floor wall just bring this all the way across filling in the remaining space and don't forget to add a door for an entrance and you can also do that on the other side of the building just grab some stone bricks and place them right on the edge here and this needs a bit more detail so just grab some stone, stone stairs and just place them like that creating an archway and you can actually punch out some windows using some iron bars I think the iron bars look a lot nicer um, just randomly place them here you can also have one here and that should be okay for now grab some cobblestone slab and just bring it all the way across this bottom edge and we can create the front porch using some spruce wood it's gonna be one two three four five and then bring that all the way down five and then again one two three four five and one two whoops one two what the <laughs> one two three four five and you can replace the corners with cobblestone just to make it look a little bit more nice <laughs> fix that up and you can finish off with an anvil why not now this still looks a bit boring so we're just gonna replace this with upside down cobblestone stairs and place the door on the inside of the building I think that looks a lot better we can add a window for the second floor again using some iron bars uh, might also add a window over here um, we're not going to add a window here because I think that looks already quite dodgy um, we're just going to build the second porch which is that over there um, again using some spruce wood slab we're going to place seven blocks one two three four five six and seven and we're going to bring this down until it's one block off the ground so right there and once you've done that just bring it all the way across until it meets up over here right guys so that's everything for the exterior of the building you can then touch up on a few things by adding some gravel you can add some blocks you got some logs over here grass totally up to you I'm gonna show you how to construct the interior as well at least the initial structure um, you're gonna grab some cobblestone and you're gonna place a second wall over here same goes for the other side just fill this in the ceiling is going to be built using some jungle wood stairs just add some wood on the interior and then the second floor wall sorry roof ceiling never mind fail um, oak wood slab as from here so that gives you enough space to build on the second floor and makes the first floor not look too small so I think that should be just fine that window is a bit too much though and that's a bit of a problem just remove that you can add some cobblestone instead and might need to fill that in or you could maybe place some storage to use up as much space as you can so if I go over to the second building just give you a quick little show around as you can see got some beds made it look a lot nicer and the second floor is just filled with storage right guys and that concludes today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it just a small building which you can now use in your towns and cities I would appreciate it if you take a moment to rate comment and subscribe and I will see you next time for kingdoms of Grayman episode 24 don't miss it it's gonna be insane thank you for watching this is Jerocraft, over and out.